Bueno, hola, hello, this is Aaron with Anna Computers from AnnaComputers.com with another video. Today's video deals with zero conf, how to disable, reinstall, or remove bonjour, bonjour, French, I guess. If you are, I filed this under software problems. Basically, zero conf is a type of a networking utility to find networking devices, but neither here nor there. If you are unable to install iTunes, Skype, Adobe Premiere, or other programs that require a Bonjour service, then you will need to either disable it or remove it. Bonjour is a service also known as Zero Configuration Networking, which enables automatic discovery of computers, devices, and services on internet protocol networks, IP networks. I would recommend you uninstall Bonjour or disable it, then try installing iTunes. It's a bit ironic, but I think iTunes and QuickTime and some other Apple products want Bonjour installed, but sometimes it gets in the way, actually. Sometimes it conflicts for whatever reason. So a quick solution is if you're not able to install iTunes, Skype, Adobe, etc., because of or that they do require Bonjour service, but that you might be getting an error message about Bonjour or that or you're just having problems installing those utilities that do require Bonjour what you could try is first disabling it then try installing iTunes Skype or Adobe Premiere or any other program that requires Bonjour service it, then it might fix your issue if that doesn't work I would try if disabling it doesn't work then I would try uninstalling it so I continue on here you can always reinstall it once you get your iTunes installed once you can also download and install an application to disable Bonjour instead number one go to start then run and type a following command without quotes and hit OK and without quotes so verbatim what I've selected without quotes percent program files capital letters percent Bonjour M DNS and with the caps capital B capital DNS capital R for responder.exe space dash remove. So in Windows XP Vista 78, click on start, run, and then type this command without quotes. Number two, browse to a C program files bonjour folder. Number three, rename a MDNS nsp.dll file in that folder to mdns nsp.old number four restart your computer number five delete that program files bonjour folder after you restart your computer and hopefully if you follow those instructions hopefully that will fix your problem of being unable to install iTunes Skype Adobe Premiere or any other software that requires bonjour for whatever reason sometimes it conflicts with those programs I don't know why those software programs don't just recognize that Bonjour is already installed, already running, or maybe that's an indication that Bonjour is having a problem. Maybe it became corrupted or its service isn't functioning properly, etc. That first command will stop and remove Bonjour service from your computer. So this first command up here, percent program files percent, Bonjour MDNS Responder.exe remove that removes that service. And then here's a quick way to clarify, a quick way to document that, quick way to prove that. To confirm, go to start. So XP Vista 78, click your start button, then go to run and type services.msc. Services plural dot MSC. And then that'll open up the services program. And then look for Bonjour service name. Look to see if it's running. It shouldn't run. As long as this command up here completed successfully and you didn't get any errors, it should disable and remove that service. And so in services.msc, it should no longer be listed. If it's not there, you've successfully removed it. Gizmo Project has created a small tool called Turn Off Bonjour, which turns off and removes that Bonjour service. However, it will not remove that Bonjour folder from program files. 
So that might could be a problem. Is a, a lot of times with Windows operating systems, programs don't clean up after themselves properly. They leave folders, they leave cookies, they leave dirty laundry, they they leave beer cans and soda pops and pizza boxes. And you know, I don't know why that is. I don't think it's that difficult to develop programs that will clean up for themselves, but for whatever reason on Windows, not all programs, some actually clean up after themselves. Or maybe it's a Windows registry issue, I don't know. Anyways, another possibility is you could run your favorite file cleanup tool. My favorite, and I'm an affiliate of CC Cleaner, but I do not get paid to talk about their products, but I'm a fan, well, a fan. CC Cleaner is productive. I've used it for many years. It works, and I'm an affiliate. But you don't have to use CCleaner. You can use whatever your favorite file cleanup utility is. There's plenty of them out there, and there's a lot of them that are just as productive, just as good as CCleaner. Is you could run that a cleanup utility, and then it'll remove any temp files, and it'll as long as you uninstall Bonjour, and then it'll clean up the registry entries. And then I guess I should have also written in this blog post, another way to remove Bonjour is to go to Add Remove Programs. So on XP, you go to Control Panel, Add Remove Programs. On Vista 7 and 8, you go to Programs and Features. Then within there, a Bonjour service, a, excuse me, a Bonjour should be listed as a program. You can select it and uninstall it. That's another way. But there's no guarantees that that folder, that Bonjour folder under program files will be removed. That could cause a problem. So either way, however you disable or remove Bonjour, I should say however you uninstall Bonjour, just go back and double check to see if that folder is removed from program files. Remove it if it's not. But I would recommend that you could also run a registry scan, a cleanup utility like CCleaner or a, a file scan. It, it, CCleaner will remove the, that folder for you as long as you uninstall Bonjour. So continuing on, you will still need to manually delete that Bonjour folder after restarting your computer. A reason why you're advised to delete that folder after a restart is in case there's a problem those Bonjour files are still there for you to restore. If you encounter problems after uninstalling or removing Bonjour, you can easily uninstall and reinstall that service. These instructions were specifically for Windows XP, but can certainly be tailored for Windows Vista 7 and 8. And then I guess it is possible. I guess maybe some programs leave their remnants because in case you want to reinstall them. I just, I don't understand why some programs don't clean up after themselves. It's like, why uninstall them then? Why have an uninstaller? Why have a removal tool? Anyways, so let's quickly go to this link and I will leave a link to my website, anetcomputers.com for this specific blog post dealing with zero conf, which is also known as bonjour services or service so that you can quickly read over this at your own time and also get to this link. I'm not going to read this entire, I already had it open, so I don't know why I opened it up second time. I forgot I had it open. I'm not going to read this entire article, but this is where I found some other ways to remove Bonjour because that, that it's possible that you go to add remove programs or you go to programs and features and you try to uninstall Bonjour, but it just won't uninstall. That, to me, could be an indication that it's become corrupted. So that's where I looked into a more manual way of removing Bonjour. Because a lot of times it does get corrupt, Bonjour. Or any really any Windows program can get corrupt. But that was a more manual way of doing things because I wrote this blog post because I helped a client of mine out. They had a problem with ZeroConf, which really is they were having a problem installing software that required Bonjour, but Bonjour sometimes gets corrupted or it just gets flaky or it just, it gets in the way. So anyways, so 
I'm going to go, I'm not going to read over this, but I wanted to go over, because some of these instructions are similar to mine, like down here, is removing the MDNS responder the manual way, is what I showed you. But in, the, in here, there's a dedicated Bonjour uninstall program. So perhaps you don't want to use the manual instructions or you're not familiar with command line on Windows or whatever, whatever your reason. There are some uninstall programs. One is called oh, Au Revoir, or my French, I, I just... <laughs> Au Revoir, Bonjour, <laughs> is a simple to use program that runs through the removal process. So there's that one. There's also my tip of going to add remove programs, as you can see, Bonjour and Bonjour Print Services. If it's confirmed as not being visible or removable via add remove pro or programs and features, these are a few solutions to get rid of it. If you don't see it in add remove programs, but you but you're still getting problems installing iTunes or or you're getting Bonjour error messages. That to me is just means that it was corrupt. It's just corrupt. And so that's where a manual manually removing it, which is what I went over, or using third-party uninstaller software. And one of them specifically for Bonjour is our Revoir. Do they have a link? Yes, right here. So here's a link to our Revoir. Get a, go away, bonjour, I guess. I don't know what that... I never took French in as a second or third language, so... Mi español es muy mal. Hablo español muy poquito. I speak a small... My, Well, not to go there, but anyways. All right, so... Au revoir. And then manual. And then they recommend CCleaner. If there are still erroneous entries left in Add Remove, they might be removable by, by simply double-clicking on them. Or, alternatively, you could use a utility such as CCleaner to delete entry from the uninstall function. And then one more. Let's go check out their link where they had right here, third-party uninstaller. I'm just... There's Geek Uninstaller. There's another program. What else? Foxit Reader, Geek Uninstall, oh, Revel, Revel, Revel Uninstaller. I've used that one. That one's excellent, too. Revel Uninstaller, excellent. I'm not sure if they have an affiliate program, but if they do, I will be signing up. Geek, I've never used Geek Uninstaller. I, oh, Bit Uninstaller, never used that. But if CCleaner doesn't work, and sometimes, I mean, you want, your objective is to get rid of Bonjour, maybe C Cleaner isn't getting it done, maybe manually you're running into problems, then by all means try out Geek Uninstaller or try out Revel. I recommend Revel. I C Cleaner and number one usually and then but Revel. Revel is excellent. I've used Revel. IO bit, you could try that out. Any other uninstallers? It looks like just three other ones. So Anyways, and then there was this other program that I did not link to. Where was it? It was towards the top. It was... Maybe I'm trying... To, oh, Gizmo. Gizmo Project. I will look for it. I'm sorry I don't have it, the link to it right now. I think at one time I did, but I edited this blog post and I think I screwed up the hyperlink and then, but this link still works. And then I will make sure I'm going to go out and look to see if turn off Bonjour, that, that, that's an excellent utility too. That's another, but that one is specifically for uninstalling Bonjour. That's the, it's only purpose from my understanding or to turn it off. Does it just turn it off or does it also uninstall? Oh no, it removes it. Yeah, it disables it, 
turn which turns off the service and then it also removes it. How but caveat mTOR. It will not remove that Bonjour folder. But you know, that's just one step. You run, turn off Bonjour, uninstall that, excuse me, remove that folder. Bam, hopefully that fixed your issue. I will try to make a point so that if you watch this video in the future, that if you are interested in using Gizmo Projects Turn Off Bonjour, I will hyperlink it. If it, I don't even know if it still exists. Some, that happens sometimes. You get free utilities, and they just disappear because maybe the person doesn't have time to maintain it or support it, or they just didn't get enough donations. Or, but I will look into it. It probably still exists, and then I will hyperlink it probably right off here, because for SEO, that might be a good hyperlink but and then if i can't find it there won't be a web link and you will know why but anyways hopefully these tips help you fix your problem with bonjour or which is also known as zero conf so that you can get itunes skype adobe premiere or any other program that requires that bonjour bonjour service parlez-vous français no no i can't speak french so that you can get though that program or programs plural perhaps to install successfully anyways you can always browse to inetcomputers.com for more possible potential tips and f for your most common computer problems adios